Hi, my name is Tom Bowe, and today I'm going to show you IFS Metrics Mobile. This is not an all-encompassing demo, but rather a quick look at some of the more interesting product features. I'm actually running the app on my Android phone, which is a Samsung Galaxy Note 2 smartphone. And although you can't see my finger swipes and taps, I'm just project projecting the phone's screen onto the laptop connected via Bluetooth so that you can see the app just as I do on my phone. So the first feature I'm going to show you today is directions to customers and GPS. By tapping the jobs icon on the home screen, field engineers can get their work list for today and it's very uh, easily uh, displayed and organized with some graphical indicators of priority. And I can drill down to see the key information about the dispatch uh, all on a single screen just by scrolling up and down. Now, when the technician is ready to go, they can click on the address, hyperlink, and they can see the customer's location on Google Maps and the drive time based upon their current position. They can also see traffic and conditions and then select a route. By leveraging the capabilities of the phone, the field engineer can get turn-by-turn -turn voice navigation while en route, and the engineer's GPS position is then sent back to the metric server to provide managers and dispatchers with up-to-the-minute visibility. The next feature is searching for a part nearby. If the engineer knows that he needs a certain part number but doesn't have it, they can try and find it themselves by tapping the find part icon. And then search for the part using the description, the part number, or you know, any part of that that they remember, and then select that particular part to search within a certain amount of radius, and then a map will be displayed of those locations. They can expand upon it and look where they are and where these where the part actually is in their proximity to their route. He can select uh, one of the locations that makes sense and call the technician to arrange a meetup so that the part can be transferred into their possession. Now, when the engineer is on site and uh, is working on the, the maintenance job, they can also perform a part swap using barcode. So the field engineers are able to keep track of their stock um, used for the particular job, even from mobile locations, such as their truck. And to do the job, they would go into the parts from their stock and uh, select this particular part using a barcode scanning. So let's go ahead and do that. And here's the box that I've used for the, the new part. And I'm going to scan that in. You can see that it found. Found that particular part, it's a telecom card. And then this is the serial number. And if I have more than one, obviously I can scan that in as well. Now, because I'm doing a, a swap, uh, it's going to ask me for part disposition for the, the bad item that I've just replaced. And I want to do an RMA to send it back. And then I'm also going to scan the serial number of the item that I'm sending back. There you go. Quantity one. And done. Another nice feature is the ability to fill out a questionnaire. I can select that from a menu or it can just be part of the normal flow of your UI. 
but the field engineers are able to quickly fill out survey questions using a dynamic user interface. Let me show you. For example, the site, is it accessible per the access protocol? Yes. So I just click that with my finger and the next question is posed. The return unit, is it packaged and labeled for shipping? Yep. Where should the return item be collected from? I can have that as a drop down. I can enter text. Um, is the return reason return to stock? Yes, and then save it and the survey is completed. Or I can change in this case, I can modify it, previous answer. Is, it, is the return reason return to stock? Let's, let's say no. And because of this, a different set of questions is going to be displayed and based on my response to previous questions. In this case, what is the return reason code then? And I can select, well, that's uh, repair and return and then uh, any additional notes. Can be entered fairly quickly. And then save the survey responses and it takes me back to where I was. I can enter labor and I can enter expenses, but the fifth feature that I really wanna show you is the ability to add a note with my voice. So I'm gonna use the keyboard and do voice. Well, I talked to the customer, but they still want to know why the circuit board failed, period. Last night's 70 MPH winds, torrential rainfall, plus trees down 10 feet from the tower, probably, potentially, had something to do with the FR629 fault period. Now, this fe feature leverages the device's voice-to-text capabilities in a seamless way. It's, it's not perfect, but uh, it's pretty impressive and it's come a long way. And it can be used in many different ways, including fault reporting. You can also have the technicians take pictures using the device's camera. Now that can be particularly useful in the field to capture damage to uh, returned items before they go to the go back to uh, inventory. So I can save that. and then continue on. Now the last feature that I'm gonna show you today is the ability to capture a customer signature. So when the work is completed, the technician has entered all of their information, taking the pictures, taking the surveys, uh, enter the barcode scans and the parts and et cetera and more. They can get acknowledgement from the customer that the service has been provided successfully with a signature and then save that. They can also confirm it with their own signature from the technician, which is not necessary, but uh, that's an option. And then they can print the report using a, a Bluetooth connected uh, printer in the field, print it out, give the customer a confirmation of service provided, and then later have an email follow up, of course, and then complete the, the job. So once the job's completed, they can move on to the next task. So that completes today's demonstration. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed seeing some of the exciting features in IFS Metrics Mobile.